ಶ್ರೀ ಗಣೇಶ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರ ಓಂ ಹಾಯ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ವಿದ್ಯೇಶ್ವರ ಸಂಹಿತ ಶಿವ ಮಹಾಪುರಾಣ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಗಿವೆನ್ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಕವರಿಂಗ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಿದ್ಯೇಶ್ವರ ಸಂಹಿತ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ there are 15 more chapters in the vidyeshwara samhita from chapters 11 to 25 i thought of completing that and uh, people who want to check out the lectures the previous lectures can uh, look at the link in the description of this video chapter 11 vidyeshwara samhita shiva mahapurana rishaya uchuhu katam lingam pratishtapyam katam vatasya lakshanam ಕಥಂ ವಾ ತತ್ಸಮ್ಯರ್ಚ್ಯಂ ದೇಶೆ ಕಾಲೆ ಚೇನ ಹೀ ಸೊ ದ ಸೇಜ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಹೌ ದ ಶಿವಲಿಂಗ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಶಿವಲಿಂಗ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಅಪ್ರಾಪ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ನೋ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಎಂಟೇಲ್ಸ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೆಕ್ಟರಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಿವಲಿಂಗ and those kind of things so you know to this question of the sages suta maharshi replies suta uvacha yushmadartam pravakshyami budhyatam avadhanatah anukuleshu bhekale punye tirte tate tata yateshtam lingam aropyam yatrasyan ಯತ್ರಸ್ಯಾನ್ನಿತ್ಯಮರ್ಚನ ಪಾರ್ಥಿವೇನ ತಾಪ್ಯೇನ ತೈಜಸೇನ ಯತಾರುಚಿ ಸೊ ಸೂತ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ರಿಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೆಲ್ ಯು ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಅಟೆಂಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಎನಿ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ಶಿವ ಇಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಅಟೆಂಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಸೂತ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ಲಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಓ ಸೇಜಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಅಟೆಂಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಹೀ ಗೋಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ಸೇ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ the place that you are going to worship lord shiva must be a holy center you now there are uh, many many holy places like kashi tiruvannamalai hmm? chidambaram etc and uh, and he says it should be on the bank of a river or anywhere facilitating a daily worship so it should be near a river or somewhere where you can perform the daily worship for lord shiva and the shiva linga can be made of you know the earth that is parthiva linga or apya that is water or taijasa that is fire so we all know that you know the pancha bhutas are earth water fire air and ether bhumi rapo nalo vayu kammano buddhir evacha ahankaram iti yamme bhinna prakritir ashtada so there is a verse in bhagavad gita also that says that and bhagavad gita as you, as we already know is the words of lord shiva and is the form of mahadeva so which talks about the various um, elements which are actually shiva the personification of mahadeva himself and um, in tamil nadu so shiva represents each of the panchabhutas you know there are various there are uh, five temples representing each of the panchabhutas so for earth it is ekambareshwara kanchi kamakshi sameta ekambareshwara yanamaha and for water it is jambukeshwara akilandeshwari sameta jambukeshwara yanamaha for fire it is arunachaleshwara apita kuchalambal sameta tiruvannamalai arunachaleshwara yanamaha and then for air that is vayu it is kalahasteeshwara ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರಸೂನಾಂಬಿಕ ಸಮೇತ ಕಾಲಹಸ್ತೀಶ್ವರ ನಮಃ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ದ ಈತರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಚಿದಂಬರ ನಟರಾಜ ಶಿವಕಾಮ ಸುಂದರಿ ಸಮೇತ ಚಿದಂಬರ ನಟರಾಜ ನಮಃ ಸೊ ಯು ನೋ ವಿ ಸಿ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಶಿವ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸೋನಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಇನ್ ರುದ್ರಂ ಯು ನೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೆಟ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ನೋ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾಟ್ ಶಿವ ಯೋ ರುದ್ರೋ ಅಗ್ನವ್ಯೋ ಅಪ್ಸುಯ ಓಷಧೀಶ್ ಯೋ ರುದ್ರೋ he is the personification of water he is the personification of fire he is the personification of ether etc and uh, you know like um, there are various other things that sutamaharshi describes here 
uh, talking about the characteristics of uh, Shiva Linga and how it should be set up and everything. And the mantras that needs to be recited, the Panchabrahma mantras from the Vedas, the Sadhyojata Vamadeva Aghora Tatpurusha Ishana mantras, and also the Rudra mantras from the Vedas, you know, like uh, all these things should be chanted. And then, you know, he goes on to say how the Shiva Puja should be performed. You know, wh what should be the intention, true intention. And this is very interesting. Tat tat sukanurage na shiva pujam vidurbhudaha pitamam bhamayam sarvam shiva lingam chachinmayam. 22nd verse of the chapter 11. He says, the only intention for performing shiva puja should be, on, you know, with a love, with a love for the happiness of different beings. It should not be a materialistic puja. So where you ask for materialistic things mm, for your own self. So it should be only to spread love and, uh, and happiness for. So may, may all beings in the entire universe from the blade of a grass till Vishnu engage in happiness. And may they get the path of Mukti to attain the lotus feet of Mahadeva. So that should be the only intention. And you know, like um, with the current state of Shaivism in Kali Yuga, this is one of the, you know, like uh, additional prayers that Shiva Bhaktas could include when they are worshipping Lord Shiva or when they are performing Shiva Puja. May Shaivism flourish across all the continents, you know, like of the world. So that's another thing because, you know, like back in Satya Yuga, there was only one Daksha and we all know Daksha's attitude uh, towards Lord Shiva, he was a, you know, he was a big hater of Mahadeva, and finally he realized. But back in Satya Yuga, it was one. Now it is like one crore dakshas are there in this Kali Yuga. So it's very very important for every Shiva Bhakta to know the glories of Lord Shiva and also spread, you know, Swadhyaya Pravachanecha. Ritamcha Swadhyaya Pravachanecha Satyamcha Swadhyaya Pravachanecha Daitri Upanishad says. So Swadhyaya you learn and Pravachana you lecture on it and also you spread, you give the knowledge, you spread the knowledge. Hmm? That is the greatest that one can perform for Lord Shiva. And uh, apart from that, so and uh, it goes on to say, Sutta Maharshi says, so say the wise men. So the wise men say that only with love for the happiness of different beings, Shiva Puja should be performed. And Shiva himself, if you see, he does everything for the welfare of the universe. He married Parvati Mata so that, of course, Parvati Mata is the eternal consort of Lord Shiva, but there is a divine Leela in that. So he married Parvati Mata and then the at the request of the Devatas, because they were... They were afraid of Tarakasura. Tarakasura as it is was creating a great havoc for the Devatas, which is uh, um, explained in detail in the Matsya Purana 154th chapter and also in the Padma Purana Srishti Kanda 43rd chapter. So Devatas were not, including Brahma and Hari, were not able to withstand. And they, at the request of the Devatas, Shiva married Parvati Mata and then from the, by the energy the, the union of energy of Shiva, uh, Shiva and Parvati Mata, Kartikeya was born, who, um, who destroyed the ignorant Tarakasura. So likewise, you know, there are many, many examples where Shiva appears for, you know, whatever Shiva does, he does it for the welfare of the universe. And the same with Shiva Bhaktas. But not in the case of, of uh, but not in the case of the activities of Brahma and Hari. So uh, one example, as we already know, is actually the episode of Narasimha. So after Narasimha quelled the ahankara of uh, Hiranyakashipu, he was not able to control his anger. So we all know that story. And uh, out of ahankara, he started destroying the universe. And he was not able to control his anger. So, and the Devatas requested Lord Shiva and Mahadeva sent Veerabhadra. Veerabhadra started initiating a conversation with Narasimha, but still his ego was not quelled. And Narasimha thought that he was the supreme of the supreme. Ahameva Vishwadikaha, he said in the Linga Purana 1st Canto 96th chapter. 
ahameva vishwadika i am beyond the universe but who is actually described as beyond the universe as per the vedas upanishads and puranas it is lord shiva yo devanam prabhavascha udbhavascha vishvadipo rudro maharshi so this comes in the shvetashvatara upanishad third chapter fourth verse fourth chapter 12th verse and also in the mahanarayana upanishad so shiva alone is beyond the universe who is responsible for creation maintenance and destruction and also he is present eternally in mahakailasha enjoying with us devotees so that's where you know like uh, whatever mahadeva does is for the welfare of the universe and shiva bhaktas whatever shiva bhaktas do should be also for the welfare of other beings and welfare of the universe and welfare of the growth of shaivism so and then he goes on to say suta maharshi yata devim umam anke dritva tishtati shankarah tata lingam idam peetam dritva tishtati santatam he says so this is quite interesting he says just as lord shiva remains ever in close embrace of parvati mata so also the shiva linga holds on to the pedestal forever so this is interesting this is beautiful because you know like this says clearly that uma maheshwara are inseparable wherever the vedas or upanishads or the puranas describe both of them are always both of them are described as always together uma sahayam parameshwaram prabhum trilochanam neelakantam prashantam gyatva munurgachati bhutayonam samasta sakshim tamasak parasta kaivalya upanishad uma sahayam the one who is eternally with uma and then radagam satyam param brahma purusham krishna pingalam urdvaretam virupaksham vishvarupam namamyaham so all these are the div- divine divine characteristics of lord shiva neelakanta blue throated krishna pingala hmm, who is dark and um, golden in complexion so krishna pingala krishna refers to parashakti as she is dark in complexion and pingala refers to lord shiva so who is golden in complexion so krishna pingala is a very very specific epithet used for lord shiva in the uh, itihasas and also in the puranas in fact the shiva sagasranama uses the word kanishta krishna pingala so it refers to parashakti and parama shiva who is residing in the heart of all the living entities from the blade of a grass till vishnu and apart from that you know uh, in the shiva sankalpa suktam also there are descriptions about parvati mata and uh, parameshwara being together and namas soma yacha rudra yacha namak tamra yacha runa yacha the word soma itself is means shiva plus uma the eighth anuvagam of rudram says shiva plus uma soma so there also and then somam amritam so the word soma shiva plus uma is the personification of immortality atharva shiras upanishad says amrita means immortality right amritartam prapannartam yasu vidya pradayini so she is the giver of the knowledge of lord shiva so shiva plus uma is the personification of immortality atharva shiras upanishad chaturthi ardha matra sa soma loka omkara atharva shika upanishad soma loka which means it doesn't refer to chandra loka so it's based on the usage we have to understand shiva plus uma so the the place where shiva and uma reside is the actually the representation of omkara sa soma loka omkara which is beyond all the worlds which is beyond vaikuntha goloka devi loka skanda loka brahma loka indra loka etc is the highest of the highest spiritual planets maha kailasha 578th name of amba mata in the lalita sagasranamam is maha kailasha nilaya maha kailasha nilaya o lalitambika devi parashakti one who resides in maha kailasha so that's how she is described so wherever if you see even you know like um, in the episode of uh, mahadeva appearing appearing as an agni stamba and destroying the ego of brahma and hari after you know he destroys the ego he appears in, he appears in his beautiful spiritual divine form the five headed ten handed form 
with five beautiful smiling faces with Parashakti, Parvati Mata sitting on his left lap. So they are always inseparable. So it's like Parvati Mata, even, you know, like, um, um, there is also a place in the scriptures where Parvati Mata is described as the object of knowledge, sorry, Shiva is described as the object of knowledge and Parvati Mata is described as knowledge. So she gives the knowledge, but who is the object of knowledge? Object of knowledge is Lord Shiva. So Sharanagati, Shiva Sharanagati is the ultimate of the ultimate. And Parvati Mata is there who gives that knowledge. So object of knowledge is Shiva and knowledge is Parvati Mata. So, uh, and that's where, you know, like uh, this uh, specific verse told by Sutta Maharshi exactly aligns with what is told in the uh, scriptures. So just as Lord Shiva remains ever in close embrace with Parvati Mata, so also the Shiva Linga, you know, like the Linga, the Shiva Linga, if you see, the Linga is always on the pedestal and the pedestal, the Pita, the pedestal is called as the Pita, which is the um, the pedestal is called as the Pita, which is Parvati Mata and the Shiva Linga is actually Lord Shiva. So one cannot just have a Linga, you know, you need to have that Pita also. So those just like Shiva and Parvati are inseparable, just like that, the Linga doesn't, you know, like uh, it, the, the Linga is always on the Pita and they, the Linga and Pita are inseparable. Only when the Linga and Pita are there, then only it's a complete Shiva Linga. You know, you cannot separate Shiva and Parvati Mata. So whoever has a Linga and a Pita, Linga along with the Pita at home, they have the Supreme Lord Mah Maheshwara and Parvati Mata at their home. And then, you know, like he goes on to say, um, he goes on to describe about um, the various, you know, 16 kinds of services that is offered. Iti samstapaye lingam sakshat shiva padam sakshat shiva pada pradam atavachara lingam tu shoda shai rupa chara kaihi. So the devotee shall install the shiva linga and it will accord directly the region of shiva. So whoever installs the shiva linga, you know, in a holy place of Mah Maheshwara will directly will directly attain the the region or the highest of the highest spiritual planets, Maha Kailasha, the region of the Supreme Lord Maheshwara. Mm. And then, you know, it also describes the 16 kinds of services. Puja yecha yatanyayam kramat shiva padapradam avahanam cha asanam cha argyam padhyam tataivacha tadanga achamanam chaiva snanam Abhyanga Purvakam, Pastram Gandam, Tata Pushpam, Dupam Deepam, Nivedanam, Nirajanam, Chatambulam, Namaskaro, Visarjanam, Atavardhya Dikam Krutva, Naivedhyam Tam, Yatavidi, Atabishekam, Naivedhyam, Namaskaram, Chatarpanam, Yatashakti, Sada Kuryat, Kramat Shiva Padapradam. So, various kinds of service, 16 kinds of uh, services, basically invocation. Hmm? Invoking Lord Shiva, that is Avahana. Hmm? You're requesting Lord Shiva to come and then uh, offering him the seat. You're, you're giving him a seat to sit, that is Asana. And then you offer water, Argya. And then you wash his feet, that is Padya. There are separate mantras for each of the services in the Agamas which you need to recite and also meditate on Lord Shiva in your mind. And then water for, you know, like, uh, and um, you know, engaging in doing achamana. So water for uh, rinsing the mouth, basically. So um, there is actually shaiva achamana that is also followed, uh, which is, which goes like uh, namashambhave chamayobhave chaswaha, namashamkaraya chamayaskaraya chaswaha, namashivaya chashivataraya chaswaha. Om Shambhave Swaha, Om Shankara Yaswaha, Om Shanta Yaswaha. So these are the two kinds of Achamanams, you know, and also the first uh, Achamana that I recited, it comes exactly in the center of Rudram, that is a Vaidika Achamana, you know, which comes in the Vedas. Um, all the Shiva Namams are described in the Vedas as uh, the personification of immortality. 
and then uh, oil bath abhyanga snanam offering of cloth that is vastram and then scents and then scents and perfumes that is gandha gandha this reminds me of the महामृत्युंजय मंत्र त्र्यंबकैंगजाहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धनम उर्वाकमिवंदना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृता सुगंधि नो सुगंधि गंध सो नो वी ऑफर सेंस एंड पर्फ्यूम्स फॉर लॉर्ड शिव एंड फ्लवर्स पुष्प इनसे स्टिक्स यू नो दट इज ऑफर दट इज धूप एंड देन लैंप्स दट इज दीप एंड देन food nivedana you know offering food waving of lights nirajanam and offering tambula that is beetle leaves and offering namaskara namaskarasya cha mahatmyam pooja mahatmyam eva cha you know uh, rama questions in the padma purana patala kanda where he you know like uh, he asks about the glory of offering namaskarams to lord shiva namaskarasya cha mahatmyam pooja mahatmyam eva cha what is actually the glory of chanting the names of lord shiva what is the glory of offering namaskarams to lord shiva what is the glory of offering shiva pooja you know like uh, offering pooja to lord shiva it goes like that and then you know finally uh, the final service is visarjana and then you know like uh, uh devo the devotee can also perform abhisheka and naivedya and namaskara and tarpana you know all these can be performed in order so if all these things are performed properly it will accord him or her the region of lord shiva mm-hmm. so there should be un- you know like um, it should not be performed just just like that unflinching devotion should be there in the heart oh mahadeva i am yours i have no other refuge apart from you o mahadeva so that should be our attitude when the hala hala poison came the devatas did not have any refuge they tried to take refuge of brahma but brahma himself was suffering from the poison and then they had to go to vishnu and they saw even the vaikuntha vasis and also vishnu had turned black or turned dark on account of the poison vaikuntham cha dadaha vai skanda purana uh, kedara kanda maheshwara kanda 9th chapter 109th or the 110th verse if i am not wrong so there it says vaikuntham cha dadaha vai even vaikuntham was burning in flames and then they had to resort to lord shiva so for every living entity in the entire universe the ultimate refuge is mahadeva so if all these things are performed thinking that oh mahadeva you are my ultimate refuge i don't know anybody you know i don't have anybody you are my you are my mata you are my pita you are my bandhu you are my sakha you are my everything and there is nothing equal to you there is nothing greater than you i surrender to you so with that intention if that is performed then the region of mahakailasha is granted and of course you have to follow the procedure that is provided by your guru you know uh, and also you know serve your guru ultimately you attain the region of mahadeva that is mahakailasha mm? and then um, poojopakarane datte yatkinchit फलमश्रुते प्रदक्षिणा नमस्कार क्रमाच्छिव पद प्रद एंड देन इट इट गोज ऑन टू से इफ द डिवोटी मेक्स सम एक्चुअली गिफ्ट यू नो ही ऑफर्स सम गिफ्ट देन ही विल गेट सम स्पिरिचुअल बेनिफिट एंड ऑल्सो बाय सर्कम एम्बुलेशन ऑफ लॉर्ड शिव एंड ऑल्सो मेकिंग ओबेसेंस टू महादेव सो नमस्कार से महात्म्यम so one should eternally chant the names of lord shiva hear the glories of lord shiva meditate on the form of lord shiva in the heart and also offer obeisances that is prostrations namaskarams to lord shiva and also circumambulate all these have great spiritual benefits by doing the circumambulation and also offering obeisances one gradually attains the abode of mahadeva mm? and then um, goes on to say लिंगम दर्शन मात्र शिव पद निमेन शिव प्रद मृत्पिष्टोष कृत्पुष्प करवीरण वाफल गुडेन नवनीतेन भस्मनाथारुचि लिंग यत्न कृत्वांते यजे तदुसारत सो रेग्युर् विशन यू नीड टू हाव every day you need to have the vision of the shivalinga and also the 
Swarupam of Lord Shiva that will remove all the sins that you have done for crores and crores of births. So having the vision, having the darshan of Lord Shiva and seeing Lord Shiva, she, seeing the Shiva Linga and also seeing the Swarupam, seeing the Swarupam of Parashakti and Paramashiva will definitely accord uh, spiritual benefits and also it will remove the sins of the devotees that they have done in the uh, for crores and crores of births. And then it goes on to say, Panchakoti Japam Kritva Sadashiva Samo Bhavet, which means repetition of the Panchakshara mantra five crore times will make a person, will make him or her to attain Sadashiva. So here the point to be noted, you know, it says Sadashiva Samo Bhavet doesn't mean that you become equal to the Supreme Lord Maheshwara. So which means you attain Mukti and even in the state of Mukti, you, you know, like engage in service to the Supreme Sadashiva. So uh, this reminds me of the Brahma Sutra Bhashyam, the second last sutram of uh, the Brahma Sutras. It says, Bhoga Matra Samya Lingacha. So, when one attains, at the state of Mukti, when one attains Sarupyam, you know, they still have that powers. They still have the Ashta Siddhi and also they have that same form as the Supreme Lord Shiva. But still, they do not have that power to create or maintain or destroy or even to liberate the Jivatmas. That is only with the Supreme Lord Shiva. That is what distinguishes the Mukta Jivas and the Supreme Lord. The Supreme Lord is one without a second and no one can be equal to him. No one can be greater than him. At any point in time, even in the state of Mukti, one can never be equal to Lord Shiva. So, Jivatmas are Jivatmas. The only thing is that there are Mukta Jivas and Baddha Jivas. We are all Baddha Jivas because we are a part of this material world. But once we attain Mukti, we attain the state of the Mukta, we, give, we become a Mukta Jiva and we remain in eternal service, engaging in eternal service to the Supreme Lord Maheshwara and we don't return to this. We don't take birth anymore. So that's what it means. Ekat vitri chatuh kotya brahmadinam padam prajet japet akshara laksham va akshara nam prutak prutak atava akshara laksham va gnyayam shiva padapradam sagasram tu sagasra nam sagasrena dhinena hi So it goes on to say by, re by repeating the panchakshara mantra 1 crore or 2 crore or 3 crore or 4 crore times, one will attain the region of Brahma, Vishnu and others. You know, so but in, initially we discussed one will attain um, the Loka of Sadashiva and became, become the eternal servant of Sadashiva by repeating the Panchakshara Mantra 5 crore times. And that's what it says. And also it goes on to say, one can repeat any of the syllables a hundred thousand times or all of the syllables separately a hundred thousand times. So any of the syllables in the uh, Panchakshara Mantra can be repeated or all the syllables can be repeated. So even any syllable is repeated, you know, like um, uh, one gets spiritual benefit. Just like, you know, like in the Padma Purana Patala Kanda, I had already uploaded a video on this Padma Purana Patala Kanda 111th chapter. Uh, there is, a, you know, like an explanation about the glory of the Panchakshara Mantra and also the glory of Shiva Namam. So there it is said, you know, like uh, there was one person who was uh, saying Prahara, Prahara, because he wanted to kill. Prahara means to kill actually or to beat, you know, like uh, so he was repeating the word Prahara, Prahara. And then he got, uh, he got a chance to go back to Mahadeva himself, Shiva Loka. And there a discussion was going on. There it said, you know, like uh, even though his intention was to actually prahara or to kill or to beat, you know, he recited the word prahara which contained the word hara. Ksharam pradhanam amrita ksharam haraha. Hmm? Hara is one of the names of Lord Shiva. You know, Shweta Ashpatra Upanishad says that. First chapter, 10th uh, verse, if I'm not wrong. So, ksharam pradhanam amrita ksharam haraha. So, hara is one of the very famous names of uh, Lord Shiva. So since he chanted the word of name of Hara, Shiva, so he got back, to, he, he went back to Mahakailasha and engaged, uh, star, got the chance of engaging in eternal service to Maheshwara. So likewise, you know, here it says, you know, it just reminded, reminded me of that story. So 
So any of the syllables can be chanted and by doing so one gets spiritual benefit. Mm. And um, or a hundred thousand times of all the syllables together, Namah Shivaya, Namah Shivaya, if it is chanted hundred thousand times, that is one lakh times, it accords the region of Lord Shiva. So, and then it goes on to say, Veda Parayanam Chaiva Gnyayam Shiva Padapradam Anyan Bahuta Ran Mantrad Japed Akshara Lakshataha. So, the regular study of the Vedas accords Shiva's region. All the other sorts of mantras shall be repeated. Um, all the other sorts of mantras shall be repeated a hundred thousand times. So Veda Parayanam is very very important. Specifically, the chanting of Rudram, which is the center of the Vedas, which is the heart of the Vedas, is very very important. You know, like even Kaivalya Upanishad says that you know at least once Rudram should be chanted every day. Um, and uh, if you take a person, you know, like a person can function even without hands and legs or eyes or nose or uh, even a mouth. At least life will be there in that person, right? It's because of the heart. But the life, you know, like um, a person cannot function without the heart, definitely. No, it's just, he'll be just a dead body. He or she will be a dead body. So likewise, if you take the Vedas, the heart is actually Rudram. The heart is Lord Shiva. So that's uh, when you are when you are any, anyone is performing Veda Parayanam, it's very important to chant Rudram. Or if you just chant Rudram, you get the benefit of chanting all the four Vedas, all the seven crore mantras in all the Vedas. This is also present in Skanda Purana. That's why Rudram has the most number of supporting facts, Upabrahmanams, in the scriptures. Mm. You see Bhishma Acharya talking about Rudram. Vyasacharya talking about Rudram, Krishna and Arjuna chanting Rudram for Lord Shiva in Mahabharata. Uh, various references are there. Indra and Brahma also chanting Rudram. And all the Devatas and Asuras attributing Rudram only to the, uh, to the one and only Mahadeva and not anyone else. It cannot glorify Narasimha because Narasimha is a personification of ignorance, Tamasika. You know, because, you know, he was not able to control his anger and then Mahadeva had to take the form of Sharabeshwara to destroy the ego of Narasimha. With that, he is referred to as Krittivasa. Me dushta mashivata mashivo na sumana bhava parame vriksha ayudan nidaya krittim basana acharapina kambi bradagahi. Krittim basana. Krittim basana krittivasaha. This comes four times in the Vedas, Shukla Yajurvedam and Krishna Yajurvedam. So, which means the one who is wearing the skin of Narasimha as his garment. So, after destroying the ahankara of Narasimha, he was wearing the skin of Narasimha as his garment. So, likewise, you know, it cannot refer to Vishnu who is bound by ego or who is bound by Kama, Krodha, Loba, Mohamada, Matsarya. So, it can only refer to Lord Shiva who is beyond um, Kama, Krodha, Loba, Mohamada, Matsarya, who is beyond the three modes of material nature, who is not touched by Karma, Anava or Mala, who is not touched by, you know, like uh, uh, birth or death, who is not touched by, you know, ego or who is not touched by impurities. But all these things, you know, like Vishnu is bound by all these things. So, it can refer only to Lord Shiva and there are 200 plus supporting facts in the scriptures that Rudram is referring only to Lord Shiva. So the regular study of the Vedas, specifically the Rudra Mantras, which is present, specifically the Krishna Yajurveda uh, Shri Rudram should be chanted, uh, which will definitely accord the region of Lord Shiva for the devotees. And then, Sarvam Krita, mm, Sarvam Krita Makamena Saksha Shiva Padapradam. So anything that is done with no specific desire, definitely that devotee who has no specific desire will attain the region of Lord Shiva for sure. Because there is Sakama Bhakti and Nishkama Bhakti. Sakama means actually with desire. Nishkama means without desires. And of course, in the beginning, one cannot worship Lord Shiva, you know, like without, one cannot, you know, worship, like one cannot actually perform Nishkama Bhakti. So one has to, you know, take baby steps. Okay, you have, you know, like a Sakama. But ultimately, you'll have to think what you're asking for. Mm -hmm. You're worshipping Lord Shiva. 
you are worshipping that great Mahadeva who can grant even the positions of Brahma, Narayana and Indra. You know, Brahmatvam Keshavatvam Va Shakratvam Va Suraihi Saha. He says, Upamanyu Maharshi says in the 18th chapter of the Anushasana Parva, 65th verse. You know, there is nothing that is, that cannot be done by Mahadeva. He can grant Mukti, he can grant Bukti. He can grant Ashtasiddhi, he can grant Aishwarya, he can grant Lordship of the Universe, he can grant the positions of Brahma, Indra, Indrani, Saraswati, Lakshmi and Narayana. But you are asking something, you know, like you have to ask something big, you know, something great. All these are actually minute things, you know, like even if you become Vishnu or Brahma, you will have to take birth again. No, you cannot be eternal because Vishnu is also bound to destruction and Brahma is also bound to destruction. So, unflinching devotion to the feet of Mahadeva is the highest that you can ask for. That is the one that a devotee needs to ask for from Lord Shiva. And uh, that should be the only des desire. So that's what Nandi uh, says in the 213th chapter of Varaha Purana. Yatanyecha bhaved bhaktim tvatto nityam maheshwara. If there is one boon that you want to grant me, O Maheshwara, let me always keep worshipping you. I should worship only you and nothing else. And <clears throat> I should worship only you and nobody else. This was the prayer. And the same with Upamanyu Maharshi, the same with Dadichi Maharshi, the same with Jaimini Maharshi, etc. 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 In all the Puranas, they you know, Jaimini Maharshi requests Lord Shiva and Lord Shiva grants Ganadi Patyam to Jaimini Maharshi as per Narada Purana Uttara Bhaga 73rd chapter. So various examples are there. But here it says with no specific desire, you know, no specific desire yields the region of Lord Shiva directly. So for that specific devotee who is offering prayers. So, so it can begin with Sakama and then it should go to the level of Nishkama. Intense practice. Now how could that happen? By Shravanam Kirtanam Shamboho Mananam Cha Mahattaram. By hearing about Lord Shiva, hearing the glories of Mahadeva, by chanting the names of Lord Shiva and then um, by meditating on the form of Lord Shiva and also very importantly, Sangha, you know, like spending time with Shiva Bhaktas. That's how you get that Shiva Bhakti and the Shiva Bhakti sprouts into the heart of the devotee by spending time with Shiva Bhaktas. And not by spending time with Shiva Dveshis, you know. So that's very, very uh, important. So you go to that level of Nishkama Bhakti, engaging in Nishkama, unflinching devotion to the lotus feet of Mahadeva. Mm? And then it talks about uh, the, the times, you know, like uh, you have to perform the worship of Lord Shiva in the morning, afternoon and evening. Mm? And then finally the chapter ends. Rishaya Uchuhu. Atakshetrani punyani samasat katayasvanaha sarvak striyascha purusha yanya shritya padam labet suta yogi varashreshta shivakshetra gamam stata suta uvacha shranuta shraddaya sarvakshetra nichata dagaman Iti Shiva Mahapurane Vidyeshwara Samhitayam Ekadashodhyayaha So, here, you know, the sages question, Sutta Maharshi, now please tell us about the various holy centers by resorting to which women and men shall attain the region of Mahadeva. And please tell about the various traditions of the Shiva temples. And then Suta Maharshi replies, you know, here Suta Maharshi is described as Suta Yogi Varashreshta. He is the best of all yogis. Suta Maharshi here, he is described as, you know, like uh, that's uh, quite interesting because, you know, like uh, there is a Samhita called Suta Samhita as a part of Skanda Purana that is named after Suta Maharshi because that contains the essence of the Vedas and Upanishads, you know. It contains all the Upabrahmanams to all the Dashopanishads highlighting that Shiva is the center of attraction. Shiva is the uh, ultimate essence of all the scriptures and no one else. So, and here he is described as Yogi Varashreshta, best of all yogis and best of all sages. And Sutta Maharshi replies, you know, like again, he says, all of you listen faithfully to the account of all holy centers and their traditions. Faith, you know, 
ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯಾ ಶ್ರೀನುತ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯ ಸರ್ವ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯ ಸೊ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪಾತ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಿವಭಕ್ತಿ ಇಸ್ ಶ್ರದ್ಧ ಸೊ ಕೈವಲಿ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಯೋಗಾದ ವೈಹಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಶ್ರದ್ಧ ವಿಚ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಫೇತ್ ಅನ್ಫ್ಲಿಂಚಿಂಗ್ ಫೇತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲೀವ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫೇತ್ ಆನ್ ಮಹಾದೇವ ಅನ್ಫ್ಲಿಂಚಿಂಗ್ ಫೇತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅನ್ಫ್ಲಿಂಚಿಂಗ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದರ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನಂದಿ ಈಸ್ ಆನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಉಪಮನ್ಯು ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ವೇಸ್ ಬೈ ಲಾಡ್ ಶಿವ ಬಟ್ ಹಿ ನೆವರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೇತ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಟೈಮ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫೇತ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ಮೋರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಮಹಾದೇವ ಹಿಸ್ ಫೇತ್ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಮಾಣಿಕ ವಾಸಕರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ತಿರುನೀಲ ಕಂಠರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ 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 ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಮಹರ್ಷೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್ ಸೊ ದ ಅನ್ಫ್ಲಿಂಚಿಂಗ್ ಫೇತ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋರೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾಡ್ ಶಿವ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ನೋ ಮೋರ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಲಾಡ್ ಶಿವ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಚರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಿವ ಭಕ್ತಸ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಎನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಯು ನೋ ಲೈಕ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಲಿಸನ್ ಫೇತ್ಫುಲಿ ಟು ದ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಹೋಲಿ ಸೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಹಿ ಎನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಎನ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂವಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿದ್ಯೇಶ್ವರ ಸಂಹಿತ ಲೇಟರ್ ಯದಕ್ಷರ ಪದ ಭ್ರಷ್ಟ ಮಾತ್ರ ಹೀನಂ ತು ಯದ್ ಭವೇತ್ ತತ್ಸರ್ವ ಕ್ಷಮ್ಯತಾ ದೇವ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ತೇ ವಿಸರ್ಗ ಬಿಂದು ಮಾತ್ರ ಪದ ಪಾದಾಕ್ಷರ ಚ್ಯೂನಾ ಚಾತಿರಿಕ್ತ ಕ್ಷಮಸ್ವ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಅಪರಾಧ ಸಹಸ್ರಾಣಿ ಕ್ರಿಯಂತೆ ಹರ್ನಿಷಂ ಮಯಾ ದಾಸೋ ಯಮಿತಿ ಮಾಂ ಮತ್ವ ಕ್ಷಮಸ್ವ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಅನ್ಯತ ಶರಣ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ತ್ವೇವ ಶರಣ ಮಮ ತಸ್ಮತ್ ಕಾರುಣ್ಯ ಪಾವೇನ ರಕ್ಷ ರಕ್ಷ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ಅನ್ಯತ ಶರಣ ನಾಸ್ತಿ ತ್ವೇವ ಶರಣ ಮಮ ತಸ್ಮತ್ ಕಾರುಣ್ಯ ಪಾವೇನ ರಕ್ಷ ರಕ್ಷ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರ ಎತತ್ಸರ್ವ ಶ್ರೀ ಉಮಾ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾರ್ಪಣಮಸ್ತು ಕರಚರಣಕೃತಂ ವಾ ಕಾಯಜ ಕರ್ಮ ವಾ ಶ್ರವಣನಯನ ಜಂಬಾ ಮಾನಸಂ ವಾ ಅಪರಾಧ ವಿಹಿತ ಅವಿಹಿತ ವಾ ಸರ್ವ ಎತತ್ಕ್ಷಮಸ್ವ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಕರುಣಾಬ್ಧೇ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾದೇವ ಶಂಭೋ ಮಾತಾ ಚ ಪಾರ್ವತಿ ದೇವೀ ಪಿತಾ ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಬಾಂಧವಾ ಕ್ಷಿವಕ್ತ ಸ್ವದೇಶೋ ಭುವನತ್ರಯಂ ಸಾಂಬ ಶಿವಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸಾಂಬ ಶಿವಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸಾಂಬ ಶಿವಾಯ ನಮಃ ಹರ ಓಂ ತತ್ಸತ್